Today in the crypto space, we see the market getting a slight bounce to the upside. Bitcoin at about 58,500. Ethereum right around that $2,500 mark, up approximately 2%, showing a bit of strength. While the rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, a mix of green and red, we do have some good gainers like Uniswap and um, HNT, and a few dips, of course, that maybe, maybe are good opportunities to be buying. In today's video, I wanna talk about the general market. I wanna use Bitcoin as a leading indicator, but more importantly, I wanna talk about one project that is gearing up for some major major upgrades and that project is called block x so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 8 p.m est where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here um obviously labor day another day off markets you know the crypto space the um the crypto markets definitely still active o obviously the order books are nice and nice and thin you know be careful out there because the volatility is real but at the end of the day what we are seeing is the overall market cap fall which as the market cap is falling you know a slow grind to the downside um we are getting a few peaks and valleys along the way obviously we got a bit of a pop today but nothing major is still in a downtrend and we're also getting a bit of volume on this uptick so it's not bad of a scenario because at least we're getting a bit of a volume a uh, spike as we're showing a bit of strength just a little bit guys just a little bit but yeah we could celebrate but just understand that we're still in a downtrend we're still making lower highs lower lows slowly down uh, coming down to lower levels and if you notice a uh, bitcoin is doing a very similar thing um ethereum is uh, performing a little bit better than bitcoin because ultimately it made a higher high right so if you look at the last little spike to the upside ethereum made a slightly higher high right now so let's see what's happening obviously we could be celebrating for every little move but we got to see big picture change of character this is what we really need guys in this market we want to see ethereum break above certain levels we want bitcoin to start breaking previous highs and making higher highs and higher lows until then we just have to anticipate that we're either going to be continuing to the downside or we have to pay attention for a change of character or a structure that suggests that the price is going to be pivoting to the upside because that transitionary phase from bearish to bullish does take time and we need to identify that opportunity through structure in the price action and of course momentum volatility these are all great indications obviously um, to look for confluence if that happens all right let's continue going down you can see the market is still in that ground uh, grinding to the downside type of phase some projects are slowly rounding off like maybe a bit of tron you can see it's kind of rolling to the downside like as it's coming down it's rolling and flatlining which is a good sign and there are a few others like avax and she but again nothing nothing major here we're getting a few like polka dot also potentially forming its bottom litecoin is in a retracement but uniswap got a nice bounce to the upside now that's a good indication for the ethereum narrative okay you guys know that i'm focusing heavily on ethereum not necessarily because i'm super 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 bullish on eth and i'm a big holder it's just because i know from previous cycles that if we get ethereum on board for an altcoin season we have a great chance of getting the indication that it's happening in the sense that we'll see the bitcoin dominance fall we'll see altcoins rotate capital will rotate into into the altcoins based off of ethereum's lead and ethereum being the largest cap altcoin we kind of need ethereum to show us that strength so right now we're seeing uniswap up 5.7%. Uh, it is the main DEX for the Ethereum narrative. And if we look at ETH, ETH got a nice little pop to the upside, even in comparison to Bitcoin. So it's not bad of a sign, right? And if you look at anything Ethereum currently, like in any wrapped ETH or anything that's ETH related, even Chainlink would be a great indication of an Ethereum spike. You know, um, we definitely are getting that indication that it's possible that we see Ethereum wake up in the next little while. So just keep an eye on it. It's still really early, but it's a good narrative, a good thesis to have given the 
fact that even Pepe is looking okay, 3%, I know structurally speaking, it's still making lower lows and lower highs. This is why it's important just to have a watch list going to see what happens in the next little while. We have stacks slow grinding to the downside. We want Bitcoin to hold, uh, hold steady, or show a little bit of strength. IMX keeps on falling, unfortunately, 2.3% to the downside today again. Um, and if we keep on going down, you'll see that generally speaking, the market is slightly up. Some, some of them are down, but the overall consensus is potentially like about two to three percent to the upside and you have some random anomalies of course such as helium hnt doing pretty good maybe looking for a breakout out of the previous highs currently at the moment so just keep an eye on 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 the market in general because there's no major major moves that need to be done even for example celestia right now is up almost four percent and didn't even really make a higher high yet still rounding at the bottom so these transitionary phases take time they do get little peaks and valleys along the way and then, then finally we get that move that major major move to the upside so we just got to be very be very patient be very careful uh, dca nice and slowly as we flatline and make make a floor price for some of these coins that would be super bullish floor prices are healthy uh, so that we can get better risk to reward ratio opportunities all right, guys, let's jump right into the charts. Today, we're going to be talking about BlockX. Of course, we'll look at the charts. We'll talk about BlockX, but I feel like we need to take a look at Bitcoin. So let's begin. Let's see what's going on with Bitcoin. As far as price action goes, you can see that Bitcoin at the end of the day um, has gotten a little bit of a bounce in the last little while, which is really, really good to see Bitcoin above the 58,000, 58,700 more or less. And we've seen it crank back to the upside. Now, this is the this is why I'm saying that the market is in hard mode. It's in a scenario where a lot of people will start losing a lot of capital trading. Trading leverage right now is not easy. You're just, you know, get, taking small little moves in and out on the 15 minute. Once we get some tra a trending price price action in this market then things become a lot easier because as of now you can see the market in general sideways so you know we go up we go down we get a lot of you know uh, stop hunts liquidity hunts we get a lot of fake outs and then all kind of things like that we start disrespecting ta as bitcoin has been doing for the last little while and why i say that is because it is literally running right over the 200 daily EMA like it doesn't even exist, right? And for me, that's a negative thing. That's a, a sign of, um, you know, maybe, you know, TA doesn't matter at the current moment. It just found its equilibrium here and it's kind of doing its thing right around this level. And bit by bit, as we do hang out here, I know it's low volume, it's not much volume. We are slowly filling up this little level that was once empty -er. before it was a lot more empty. Now, all of a sudden, we're seeing that there's a bit of volume, a little bit of emotion into here. And then we're, we're, we might have to put another horizontal all the way down to about 56 800 because now this is no longer um, a part of the volume gap this area it's slowly filling up it's getting pretty pretty large here so now we're closing the volume gap and we do have a weakness below but we're doing pretty good as long as we're above these lows right here in fact, if you look at the price action, we didn't even come as low as this dip right into this level. And people are as fearful as if the price is down here, actually making lower lows. And that's concerning to me because people are getting impatient. That's the problem. Emotions are running wild because of the impatience and any little dip is, you know, exaggerated and so on. So I feel like Bitcoin is doing OK still. Yes, it does look a bit bearish because it's below the 200, below the horizontal support and, and so on. And it's uh, dripping down. But you know what? It could easily get back to the top of the range even back into this level again and remember statistically speaking this type of descending broadening wedge should break out bullish eventually and if it doesn't guys we know our targets about 52,000 and then down to about 44 if that's the case um, but if we do get the bounce to the upside it's very likely that we start contending with the top of the range 72 and start getting into price discovery and if that happens Bitcoin is going to start showing some strength Ethereum will follow ethereum outperforming bitcoin would be a great thing for an indication for a rotation into the alts and then we might start seeing um, um you know bitcoin dominance fall in all coin season so we really want to see bitcoin in, in, in kind of at least at least show us a little bit of strength here to get back to the top of the range all right so so far bitcoin's okay guys nothing really to worry about with uh bitcoin but some of these altcoins are looking pretty bad and i get it i get it all right let's take a look at block x guys block x chart you know is looking quite interesting but before we talk about about the chart i just want to share with you some uh, in information that is very important for block x because it's not just about charts all the time it's also about fundamentals i did do a deep dive i did give you guys a nice update on block x what they have in the works right and i just want to give you a quick update on that and with exact dates we have the algorithm that's um 
basically be, being updated in the next couple of hours so expect some volatility there you know moving uh, uh, away from asic mining and getting into gpu based mining is definitely something that will um, entice a lot of individuals uh, to get in and be a part of the network reducing that centralization aspect um, and and that friction from individuals being able to get involved and that's a very very smart move in my opinion decentralization is something that i appreciate significantly and then we have the a marketplace the marketplace is ready to be launched around thursday so expect that to happen they have a, a whole new team lead engineer full stack engineers testing phase is almost complete they've been testing for the last five days or so and they're ready to start uh, getting that loaded up for thursday so this week is going to be a big week for block x and then you have the grid box it's ha prepared uh, to be released uh, for next week so again this week the next week the next few days for um block x is pretty pretty big so if you're really interested make sure you go visit their website make sure you go um you know go on the discord get engaged with the community ask questions because it's a great time to start looking for opportunities in, in in projects that are very low market cap that's where the gains are guys that's where the gains are you're not going to get into the large caps and make life-changing gains you're looking for opportunities and speculative assets that definitely have good fundamentals and obviously the price action has to match so let's take a look at the price action here for a second what i appreciate about block x's price action currently is a, is the fact that it is getting a higher low as of now we're getting that higher low scenario now i feel like this chart needs a bit of an update and the reason being is as as we were building more data more price action coming in i'm now able to kind of like be more precise about things and i feel like this yellow line needs to be brought down a little bit because we got some nice bottoms right into here we do have some nice bottoms into here but we also have these bottoms into here and in why i want to bring it down is mostly because of volume and you guys know i'm a momentum trader i appreciate volume because it gives me an indication when we are picking up momentum in the in the in the in the market and right now this is the level of where we got a decent reaction um a, a decent amount of volume below it we start to show weakness so for me this is an important place because if we break below this level again which is at 5.7 cents more or less 5.8 cents it means that it's very likely that we start dripping down again okay so we got this uh, green arrow right into this level if we get back below this low things don't look good now i know we have wicks those wicks are, make things very ambiguous but when you're talking about low cap projects with a price action um and you know obviously um thin order books and this is what you get lots and lots of volatility lots of wicks and lots of opportunity and obviously a lot of uh, potential dips that can come down more than expected just understand micro caps they do or small cap or projects they fluctuate significantly so back to the story here you can see that we did come down we broke the horizontal the a level we came back up and now we are currently back testing this level so what's important to me is that we're getting a confirmation that this could be a nice higher low and obviously this is the weak spot now and if we're going to produce this higher low it starts to look like potentially a change of character because as of now we've been always making lower lows and lower highs now all of a sudden we came up for a high that's fine we got rejected and look at the volume gap and i feel like this also needs to be a little bit updated because again we over time you know the charts produce a little bit more data and we want to just you know be aware and cognizant of the importance of this data and and you can see this empty spot so i'm going to instead of putting this mess right into it i'm going to put a nice red box into there that way we could um keep an eye on it with a bit more detail let's put a red box into here and you can see that this red box uh, basically is weakness in the chart if we get the chart if we get the price above this level and break above this high with some volume some conviction and you can see just to you know be very clear that um the the volume is actually increasing over time nice and slowly with peaks and valleys let me show you what i mean now if you go right into here you can see we're coming up you know moving up and then we come down and then we go up what about if we come down and move up and we start building and building because that's usually what happens little by little more volume gets int introduced as we start getting more comfortable with the prices with the floor price with the back test and the confirmations and the confluence and as that all builds we start to build bigger position sizes and that's why we get bigger volume spikes we get higher highs and higher lows and i feel like right now based on this level it's pretty confident um, you know that we could be holding this and if we do grow 
rate, right? Uh, this is our, our invalidation. And if we come up and start breaking above this level, like I said before, there's lots of weakness in here. So to suggest that we can snap to about 11 cents, great opportunity for sure. Now, once you start looking at this possibility, it starts to look pretty interesting because we have a shoulder right into here. We have a head right into here and we have a potential shoulder. Okay, maybe an inverse head and shoulder. And we'll look at the oscillators here in a second to see what, if we are getting any sense of divergence. Well, okay, so I'm gonna, I gotta um, backpedal here because I kind of just messed up the chart, but no big deal. Now, ultimately, what we're trying to do is find opportunity. And, you know, if we do break above that previous high, it's very likely that we start making higher highs and higher lows and changing the direction of the trend. And that's a called a change of character. When we start changing the character of the price action, it means that we're no longer making lower lows and lower highs. All of a sudden, we're gonna be going for higher highs and higher lows. And this is why we need to break above this high right here. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. Now, I'm just gonna quickly quickly just zoom out a second and show you statistically speaking what this really means um when you're looking at a descending wedge like this now i know it kind of broke down now i don't even know if it's that valid could we do something like this possible could we kind of like extend this maybe something like that maybe okay whatever the case is okay it's not the point the point is when you're getting this downward sloping type of price action and eventually consolidating into a contraction like this with lower 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 volume over time and eventually you get an expansion statistically speaking you should ex be expanding to the upside and hitting the base of the wedge okay whatever type of shaped wedge it is in this case it's obviously clearly uh, going from a broader perspective to a very contracted perspective and slowly tapering in and we should be getting uh, to the base of the wedge eventually what what we are getting is an extra confirmation of a potential higher low to suggest that we're ready to start moving to the upside and hitting this target which again is at about 16 cents 17 cents so ultimately we do have some weakness to provide opportunity we do have some resistance right here at, at about you know 13 and a half cents more or less which is the point of control a lot of volume in this area so anticipate emotional individuals either people going short and then we might even get a short squeeze and continue to the upside i just feel like we're just an area to basically watch out for because when you see emotional levels you see a lot of price action and when that happens you get reactions whether they be quick sell-offs quick uh, take profit zones quick dips buy the dips support levels and that's where you you know you you kind of identify yourself as a trader or a long-term holder that's just going to hodl through no matter what happens dips peaks and valleys it doesn't matter so this is what we have to you, you have to be prepared for is that at the end of the day we could be getting some peaks and valleys along the way but this is the target right now which is the base of the wedge now once we get to the base of the wedge after that battle you know we have to start asking yourself you know how much profit do we take and how high do we go in anticipation of a continuation meaning previous highs and price discovery obviously very possible here obviously it's something that we're all waiting for is to see the altcoins do very very well because of uh you know the the catch-up that needs to happen with bitcoin and so on the fact is that we are waiting for an altcoin season for a good good while and, and preparing and and basically doing tons of deep dive research in order to prepare for an altcoin season and now that the time comes now is the time to consider that this is the best moments to be taking a bit of risk and it, definitely block is one of them definitely on top of my list given the fact that it's a micro cap with lots of possibilities we've got great fundamentals and as you can see the price action is giving us some confirmations that potentially it might be looking for a higher low and a bounce to higher high and could continue trends to the upside so overall looking pretty good here on block x guys not bad let's take a look at the oscillators here for a second we left over sold conditions which is quite interesting let me zoom in here a little bit let me make this smaller we'll bring this one up in a second but you can see that we, we we basically on this dip we did get oversold with a major expansion down look at this red expansion lots of sell-off right but not a lot of volume but definitely um, a huge expansion to the downside uh, probably the biggest uh, uh, from all the all of this as you can see now all of a sudden we're looking at oversold conditions right and then we went up and did we get overbought this pop to the upside right here this price didn't get overbought and on the retracement in fact it didn't even get oversold yet i feel like it's flagging out right here i feel like it's what it's doing is kind of going sideways in order to give us a a, a peace of mind type of scenario where we know that potentially it, it, this is going to be holding for support and we can see a decent amount of volume into here if you see i exclude the previous price action in this level right behind it and all this volume all this market participation all this point of control that you can see currently on the chart belongs to the current price action from here to here and it is a higher low which suggests accumulation especially if we get another higher high it suggests accumulation so what i do appreciate is that 
it is very likely that we do not come down for a lower low here on momentum given the fact is that we didn't make a higher high and get overbought yet so it, it is a possibility that we're just coming down for a quick retracement and then go up for an overbought state and get that next leg up to see where this thing goes just keep in mind that if this turns into a five wave structure the third impulsive move is usually the biggest we got one we got a retracement that's the second and then the third the third impulsive move in a five wave structure is usually the largest impulsive move so let's be, pre be prepared for that because that's the, that's where you want to be in so that you don't you can get a, a great entry so you're not worrying about entries later on and then if you take a look at the uh, the, uh, the the trend oscillator i get the trend right now is still red you can see that histogram bars still red emas are still facing down but at any moment we might get an ema cross and we might get one green histogram bar we might show a change of character into the, into this price action and then we'll see the trend shift to the upside and what i do appreciate is as this price action is falling look at the trend oscillator it is completely diverging right all the way from here pretty much and it looks like much much more in fact if you look at this entire um oscillator as the price is falling the momentum is slowly of the trend is slowly moving to the upside which is great and then all of a sudden you know we're here in the tail end looking at multiple drives of bullish divergence and as we are going sideways transitioning from bearish to potential bullish we can expect that this divergence eventually will get its follow-through and that's usually what happens in the patience to to wait for the follow-through is usually what gets people wrecked because nobody has patience patience is very important we're getting nice horizontal support levels we have potential bullish divergences we have good horizontal levels the market cycle is in the best uh, scenario for an, uh, an altcoin season and a continuation of this bull run and we have a lot to look forward to guys time to take a bit of risk not financial advice guys but i appreciate what block is block x is up to all right guys if i've offered you any value in this video do the channel a massive favor slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm if you want to follow me on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free take care guys see you tonight at 8 p.m est and don't forget buy the dip